So a lot of you guys have reached out to me over the last number of years and uh, you want to know why you lose your fish finder images when you're at higher speeds. Uh, depth on plane, depth at higher speeds than normal scan speeds, what the issue is with that, how you fix it. So I'm going to show you real quickly what causes you to lose images at higher speeds talk about a couple of solutions to fix it fish finder transducers are sonar sonar works through water it needs water to shoot those images down and then back up to the sonar transducer and receive those images it's different than radar that works through air so for you to get good clean images or any images at all that sonar transducer needs to be down in the water without any interference if you look here on my graph now you see i got good clean images with my 2d my down imaging my side imaging everything is nice and clear we got no issues normal scan speed for sonar transducers getting the best images is usually anywhere from two to four miles an hour depending on what you're doing while you're scanning for i usually scan for fish between three and four miles an hour uh, because that's what in my experience has always provided the best images for me so you can see here i'm moving a little bit over three and a half miles an hour start to speed up get to four and then we're going to go up to four and a half five miles an hour And then once I start to get up over five miles an hour and begin to go a little faster, You start to see here, I'm starting to get some interference on this side of the screen. And now I'm at a point where I really, all those arches and things that I was seeing before, I'm really not seeing. And then as I speed up even more, I'm starting to lose my bottom here. I've still got the bottom on the down imaging, but now it says I'm in 98 feet of water which clearly I am not. If you slow back down here and let the sonar catch up, you see I'm in 27 feet of water. So now I'm gonna show you why that happens. If you look here on the back of the boat, again, I'm running a boat with pods and pod boats are worse about cavitation than uh, boat without pods just a standard transom but the benefit that I get from those pods lifting that rear end up helping me navigate in shallow water um, helping to make the back end of the boat stable support the weight with this 80 gallon live well that I've got in this Art Pro Cat uh, the pods are, are way more beneficial to me than not having them uh, and, and not having as much cavitation on the back of this boat but if you look here Right now, this water is pretty clean right here. There's not a lot of air bubbles and waves and stuff going on. I got good clean images here on my fish finder. I've got lots of shad and stuff going down here. I can see what's going on. And then if I kick up, speed up here, let's go up to about get it right at about four miles an hour which is what I usually scan for fish three to four miles an hour you see I've still got those good images and when you look here at the back of the boat you can see I'm starting to get some bubbles there's a lot of waves and stuff going on between those pods where that transducer is mounted right here on the left of my boat now I'm going to speed up a little bit get up here till about nine ten miles an hour where everything just kind of goes haywire and i start to lose everything now when i'm 
traveling at those higher speeds, there's so much cavitation between those pods that you just, you've got air bubbles and waves and everything moving around and that's what's causing that transducer to lose bottom and not get those images. So how do you fix it? Well, first of all, if you're really, really worried about maintaining depth at higher speeds, if you've got a fiberglass boat, then your best option is gonna to be to use a through-hole transducer. The other option, whether you run a fiberglass or aluminum boat, is to use a high-speed transducer. High-speed transducer is a smaller 2D transducer, and that smaller transducer will allow you to get images at higher speeds. These big uh, mega transducers and side imaging transducers that you're using for uh, 2D and down imaging, side imaging on boats these days are big and they're not made to operate at high speeds because there's so much surface area with that great big flat transducer that has to be in the water with a clear view to get images that when you switch to a high speed transducer, use a smaller transducer, then you've got much more of that transducer in the water and you'll be able to get images at higher speeds. Now again, if you're running a pod boat, you're still gonna have some issues. You're not gonna gain a whole lot from that 2D transducer, but a regular old standard flat transom without pods on it, that'll fix the situation in most cases. You just need to get out on the water and run around and look at that transom with your boat moving. If you're going at higher speeds, make sure you got somebody there to help you and look to see where you've got the least amount of cavitation on that boat and that's where you need to start looking on where to mount that high speed transducer and again that's why you lose bottom at higher speeds with transducers now i've got a video that i'm going to put a link to down below that covers how to get the best images from your fish finder covers a lot of these basics like shark speed boat speed all those things go down below check it out if you hadn't already done so make sure you hit that thumbs up button hit the bell notification and go down below leave a comment let me know what speed you lose images with your transducer i want to know what performance you're getting and how fast you can go in your boat before you lose bottom and can't get images